morning, everyone. Welcome to the Power Lunch Thursday. Here, you're going to learn to balance your life and live your dreams. Presented by Marquee Monday. She's our performance speaker and coach here today. So each Thursday, we're going to present a new tool or a tip or even a guest, guest speaker to help you discover and live your dream life. So make sure you save this time in your schedule each week to join us. So Marquee is a John Maxwell certified coach, speaker, and teacher, and she's the author of the book, Seven Steps to Discovering and Living Your Dream Life. She's originally from New York, and Marquee tapped her way to Las Vegas as a world famous Radio City Rockette. And she's here today to uplift you, educate you and inspire you to balance your life and live your dreams. So this week, we're going to talk a little bit about what happened last week. So Wanda was here and talking about confidence and the way that you can bring that harmony of confidence into your life. And then we're going to discuss the marquee method. And that's all on her. So let's welcome marquee. Thank you, Ryan. How's everybody doing today? Wonderful. Wonderful. Thank you for having us. Good, good, good. Ryan said last week we had uh, Wanda Webb and she talked to us about the psychology of confidence. And in that she really hit home on harmony. Now, many times we think of confidence as something that we put on from the outside you know, like a great outfit, um, getting your hair done, your makeup done, you know, bling it out. We look at ourselves in the mirror and all of a sudden now we have this great presentation and that boosts our confidence. And what she opened up to us was that really harmony is what we're looking for. The harmony, the flow of as the flow aspects in our life. So to bring on confidence or to bring on the things that we desire, we want to have harmony with them. And harmony means that we're not disrupted, that, we're, that it's not a rigid hard edge, but a flow into a progression of things. Um, Cynthia, you were here with us last week. I don't know if you are able to chime in on that, but, and then also Kina, you were here with us last week as well. So if there's any points that you'd like to share in that harmony, um, I know last week Corinne was here and one of the things she said was just looking at it from that aspect, when you think of harmony, when I think of harmonies, I think of music, singing. You know what dissonance sounds like, you have two voices and they're kind of opposing each other or two notes and they're, screeching against each other. Harmony is that blending and melding that actually feels good. It's, it's light, it's flowy, um, it's peaceful, it's calm, it's soothing. You know, so all of these adjectives give us that flow in harmony. And what Wanda was saying to us was, when we have that harmony in the different areas of our life, whether that's in relationship, in jobs, uh, in tasks that we're doing, in, in things that we're trying to accomplish, we have a more peaceful way within ourself, which gives us confidence that belief, that trust. And as she moved through that, she gave us many examples of her life, you know, with her family and things that were going on. And you can check out the playback because it is up and you can always go to the website and click on that playback. Really, really good. Wanda is an author, a mentor. She works with women business owners that are looking to level up. And she really has a passion for that. So I do encourage you to check out the playback and, you know, and jump on her. She's on IG, Instagram, Wanda Webb, Wanda Webb to check in. So is everybody able to unmute? I'm unmuted. I know you are. <laughs> okay. Who do I have there? That's Kenba. Hey. Kenba, 
check in. Yeah, multitasking, but I can unmute. Okay. Um, hey, my name is Ken Cowley. Um, I am here locally in Las Vegas, Nevada. Um, and I am currently, um, well, I just got my the pharmacy technician license. So um, that's new for me. So yeah, so down a new road I go. Congratulations, congratulations. Thank you. Cynthia, did, did the dog walker come yet? I think she's dealing with the dog walker right now. <laughs> right. Kina, are you on? Kina disappeared. Oh, maybe she fell off. Okay. She's harmonizing somewhere else. <laughs> All right. All right. So we're going to jump right in. I'm going to share my screen and we'll get started with our presentation today. And again, I always like to say thank you. Thank you so much for taking your time to jump on the call. We're doing Power Lunch Thursdays all of June as uh, Ryan was explaining. Okay. All right, so here we are Power Lunch Thursdays. You know you can find us at discoverandliveyourdreamlife.com. Register with the link and we are your hosts, myself and Ryan. Balance Your Life, Live Your Dreams is part of Discover and Live Your Dream Life, which is seven components, spirituality, health and fitness, wellness and beauty, travel and leisure, arts, entrepreneurship and entertainment, finance and mentorship, which is giving back. And week one, we broke down each one of those components. We followed it up having Wanda Webb on the second week, at, which really fell under spirituality. And today I'm batting the Marquee Method, which really does explain the 30-day intensive of Seven Steps to Discovering and Living Your Dream Life, which is the book that I've authored so that we can find our balance and live our dreams. So Power Lunch Thursday, today we're doing the Marquee Method. Now, in our 30-day intensive, of the Marquee Method, everything is based around an acronym. And I love acronyms because it does help you to remember the source so that you can actually reach your goals. Because a lot of times we think, oh my gosh, I have all of these components that I have to learn and fix. Well, if you have a kind of a quick, tricky, easy way to remember it and figure it out, my name is Marquee. What, what did Marquis tell me? Ah, Marquis method. So we have Marquis. And I, I am going to break that down to you. What happens with us usually is that we feel we don't have the expertise in a specific subject or something that we're trying to accomplish, that we need to go to a university, we need to get a degree. And many times that that, that is helpful. If you're going to be a rocket scientist, I would suggest that you go to college and university. If you're going to be a neurosurgeon, I would suggest that you go to college and university. If these are the things that you're looking to accomplish, but many times in our life, especially with entrepreneurs, we're building jobs and we're, we're building careers around something that we are passionate about. And that passion comes from within us. Now, a chef, a culinary chef, yes, they're gonna to go to chef school, but does that mean they're going to do 16 years of college life? No, they're gonna to go to culinary school, which maybe is gonna entail a couple of years of training. So I'm not against training for your specific area. It's just not all areas are going to need that of an intense study behind it. You will continue to grow and as you grow in years, you will continue to propel yourself to the next level. So I wanna make sure that we throw out that misnomer that I have to have a college degree and go to university for a gazillion years to do and be successful in something that I'm passionate or love. What I call your dream life. So I wrote a book called Seven Steps to Discovering and Living Your Dream Life. And I break down these components and put together what we call the Marquee Method. Marquee stands for my accomplishments reveal qualities unique 
to my experiences and my expertise. Really quickly, when I was three years old, my mom put me in dancing school. So I started learning ballet and tap as a little child of three. I went to dancing school every year of my schooling life up till graduation from high school. And then my parents said, as I was in prep school, because I went to a college prep high school, well, what are you going to take in college? What are you going to major in? Well, it seemed obvious to me, dance. I had been doing it for all but three years of my life. It was literally like breathing at that point. And my parents thought, hmm, wonder why she chose that. <laughs> wasn't, wasn't a misnomer to me. I, I wasn't confused about it. And so I became a professional dancer. Some of you know my career history. Um, I'm one of the first African-American Rockettes ever to dance on Radio City stage as a Rockette. And so this just made sense. As my life walked through each step of the way, my passion was dance. You as well, each person, when you look through your life and you turn the pages of your life, you will find the things that you are passionate about, that you have an instinctual love for. And I, of course, use the Bible as a, a grounding for my life. Your gifts will make room for you. The principles work. They are universal. So you don't have to follow the Bible. You know, you might in, be in the Quran. You might follow another religion. It's not about the religion. It's the principle. The principles will work regardless. Your gifts will make room for you. And many times in that, you're looking at freedom. In our life, in our society, it takes working and making money to survive. You have to pay for your housing. You have to pay for your transportation. You have to pay for your food, et cetera. Many times we feel like removing that financial burden will give us freedom. So as my first example in the learning and doing objective here, Faye was looking for freedom. Well, when you discover your unique gifts and talents, it gives you freedom, which is balance. So here we are back at our balance your life, live your dreams using the marquee method. My accomplishments reveal qualities unique to my experience and my expertise. Well, your balance is being available light and accepting of new creative experiences. So there's your balance acronym with freedom. Now, the marquee method comes under the 30 day intensive, which goes along with the book, which is why I continue to kind of mention it because you actually need the chapters in the book <laughs> to work through each of these. But I wanted to share that because if there is something that you have been passionate about all your life or something that you were introduced to that you feel an affinity towards and you're feeling, oh, wow, I really think I could get into this or it comes easy to you or it just feels good speaking in that harmony mode that Wanda talked about last week, that's something that you're gonna find balance in and it's gonna give you the freedom because your gifts make room for you. The second acronym in that finding freedom is AIM, the acceptance of self. In the book, one of the first things you have to do is make the decision and believe. Well, once again, last week, and I keep, hopefully this is all making sense because each week we're kind of adding a component to give you the foundation and then each step to level you up so you can reach your goals, dreams, aspirations, and desires. But it starts with your belief. And your belief is an acceptance of yourself, which is where we get the acronym AIM from. Acceptance of self, I can achieve, and my dreams, the things that you are within yourself feeling, dreaming about, passionate about, my dreams are seeds. 
your seeds, they've already been planted in you. That's where I go back to me being three years old and starting dance. That was a seed. 30 years later, I've had a full career in dance from that one seed. Then I use the acronym ENOUGH because many times we come upon challenges and things that stifle us get in our way. Sometimes we call them trials. Sometimes it's drama in our life. And we need to say ENOUGH. You eliminate the noise so you can open up greater heights. ENOUGH. Eliminate the noise. So you want to stop that so that you can really focus in. And then I bring it back around with maps, moving according to preparation. When you look back at your life, the pages in your life, you were prepared for whatever it is that is in you. Your life literally prepared you. So move according to that preparation. And sometimes I use the example of my girlfriend who at 15 was doing bookkeeping and tax preparation for her father's business. And here she is well-grown in her late 50s, early 60s, and she's now opened up her tax boutique. Well, it made sense. She had been doing it all her life. And she was like, you know, I need a side hustle. Well, what do you love to do? And what have you already been doing? Boom, there it was. And many times we don't look at all of those things, the seeds that have already been planted in you. And it takes inventory. It really does take self inventory to do it. So the marquee method is all about that self inventory. My accomplishments, the things that I've already been doing, reveal qualities unique to my experiences and my expertise. And you will find that you do have expertise in a whole lot more than maybe the accolades or certificates or degrees on the wall say. The, the second thing, I look at in our learning objectives and doing objectives here would be that many times we're looking for accomplishments. What I just said, those accolades on the wall, those certificates, those degrees. Really, once you've started looking within yourself, doing that self inventory, I, as a singer, I use a microphone a lot. I was like, okay, pick up the mic, make that declaration, identify your, your passion and create, which means do it create in the knowing, knowing that you can. If you find yourself stifled or you find yourself procrastinating, we, I use mind shift. And mind shift doesn't simply mean you just turning in another direction. No, you have to believe that my insight never diminishes. The stuff that's going on that you know within yourself, it doesn't diminish. Show how I focus talent. Shift, show how I focus talent. You already have the gift. It's already there. Now show it. It's a doing. Shift. Show how I focus talent. Aim we did in the first one. And so these build upon each other. Most uh, Many times we have a desire to be part of a community. And here at Dream Life, that's exactly what this whole process, our Now Power Lunch Thursdays is doing in Dream Life. We are building our community. And here you're getting your GPS. We know that, do we know what the GPS trackers do, right? Well, let me put it in my GPS. I got to go to this address, put it in my GPS. Okay, now I know where I'm going. Same thing here with Dream Life. You have the guidance, you have partnership, and you have support. Because we're going to check in and we're going to say, hey, how's that going? Corinne, one of the gals that was, has been on the call with us a couple of weeks, and um, she, I, I believe she had an appointment today, so she wasn't able to be on. But the first week when we broke out the seven steps in Dream Life, she was really into that travel and leisure component. And the travel and leisure component is shifting your environment so that you can bring some joy in. Every once in a while, you've got to change your environment so that you can really see from once you came to where you're going and appreciate once you see that in that appreciation that's that gratitude it kind of rejuvenates you so that you can stay on course stay within that that focused guide of you getting to those goals dreams aspirations and desires Corinne wanted to travel. She needed to make a shift. She needed to change that environment. And from week one to week two, 
She done booked her trip to Hawaii and she's ready to go off and have a great time with a girlfriend who's turning 50 and celebrate and party and do that whole thing. So she's already taken that step. So with that step, it came in community. The second week we had, again, Wanda Webb was on and she's talking about harmony. So here we have our community and in our community, we're gonna to continue to support and partner with you and make sure we're dropping these tools tips and strategies for guidance so you can get to those goals, dreams, aspirations, and desires. Then ACE. Now ACE is really interesting. So I want to break that down just a little bit. ACE is accept, compliment, and enjoy. And I have to say, I was never one to accept compliments well. Oh, I love that dress, girl. You look good. Oh, I would be like, oh, thank you. You know, oh, that old thing. Yeah, I've had it forever. We really need to literally step up and step out and be accepting. When somebody gives you a compliment, um, when you accept that, it actually blesses them. And so we want to keep that cycle going. We don't want to cut those things off. You don't have to literally reciprocate to that person, but you can and can't give a compliment back, but it's, it's not, that's not a necessary thing. It's the fact that you accept when someone actually looks at you, you know, maybe, maybe they're giving you a gift. Maybe they're complimenting your earrings. It could be anything. Maybe they bought you lunch. Accept those things because you're going to, in return, as we look at our seven components in dream life, mentorship, you're going to pay it forward. You're going to give back. So it's going to come back around. It doesn't necessarily have to be that person right in front of you. So we have accept, compliment, and then enjoy it. Really get into it. Have a good time with it and know that you know that you know that you're worthy of that. Absolutely. And why not? If we can find it at an adverse place for why, why not? So ace it, accept it, compliment, enjoy it, have fun with it. Now, the other example that I have is, you know, maybe you're just looking to change something. Maybe you're looking for a novelty, something new. I did meet a lady that said that she's had her whole career. She now, she's just having fun and she's living her best life, you know? So I told her, well, TSN, Try something new. You can look back at your life. You know the things that you have done. You know the things you haven't done. Last week, you guys, weekend. So today is Thursday. Last weekend, I went surfing for the first time ever on the, on the surfboard out in the ocean in California. I was trying something new. I was like, wow, this is, this is pretty fun, okay. So after all of these years and love the water, had been to the beach a gazillion times, I had actually never gone surfing. So I had a wetsuit on and I was out in the ocean. So I was trying something new. It was just a novelty. So we have in the Marquee Method, these different acronyms and these uh, different ideas so that you can truly reflect within yourself and lay out for yourself your own roadmap because your gifts, everything has really already been built inside. Now in the book, Seven Steps to Discovering and Living Your Dream Life, the true way to accomplish these things is to make a contract with yourself. The same way you buy a house, you buy a car and you have to sit down and sign all of those papers, same deal when it comes to living your absolute dream life. Discovering it using the marquee method opening up, revealing to yourself those gifts, talents that have already been placed in you, and then writing that contract with self. So there is a contract in the book um, that I go through. And like I said, I use the marquee method in the 30-day intensive so that you have an actual workbook going forth. Because many times people actually don't know, they're, they're not clear on their own gifts, their own talents. You know, there are a lot of really good chefs out there. 
more moms and dads that whip up these quick meals for their families day in and day out, yet they're still going outside of the home to provide finances where they could possibly have a catering business and work from in home. You know, maybe they don't love cooking that much, or maybe they just love putting the recipes together. There are many, many ways to chunk down your passions and find that unique, unique gift and niche. They call them niches. I love it. Everybody's saying, what's your niche today? Niche for their life and their self. We know that at this point in our life, we need seven streams of income. So we need to chunk down do some self-revelation and find out those innate gifts within us that will make room for you. And you will be surprised. Once you tap into that passion, doors start flying open. That's the marquee method. And if you'd like to dig deeper into that, by all means, grab the book. There is a free PDF guidebook that you should all get. Just go to the website. You can click on the thing that says free guidebook and actually download it for yourself, read through it, and uh, we can do a one-on-one -on -one so that you get the tools needed to actually implement those things. And that's, that's for you, that's our gift. So it looks like that on the website, click it and download that free PDF guidebook. So that is the marquee method for today. So I'm gonna stop sharing my screen and if you guys can unmute, we will talk about a little bit of this. If you have any questions, I'm happy to answer them. Well, I love the idea of novelty um, because the life it needs, you need the variety, you need the, uh, the extra unexpected in life. And if you keep doing the same thing over and over again, it gets dull, it gets boring. My father used to say, you have to change your state and he didn't mean like the, the state that you live in, the, the state of your mind. Yes. Go into a new experience somehow, whether that's picking up a new book with a new concept that you've never thought of before or traveling, doing something different, getting out, getting out of your normal routine experience and doing something new and having the courage to do that. Because a lot of people, they just don't have the courage. Oh, I can't do that. I don't have the money to do that. But there's always possibilities for something new. Absolutely. Absolutely. Thank you for sharing that, Ryan. I definitely agree with that. Um, the thing that I know that I've heard the most, the Bible is, has been, I think, a guiding post for me as well. Um, I like how you very much clarify the fact that it's just basic universal principles, because that's truly what it is, regardless of what religion you decide to follow. Um, and I've heard the, you know, the verse, I believe, I can't remember the exact verse, but about your gifts making room for you. Um, and we all uniquely have things that come easy, so to speak, to us. Um, things that we're drawn to, we might not be able to necessarily pinpoint um, where those things come from, but we know they were seeds in us from a very early age. Um, <laughs> and it's funny how these things happen when you need to hear them, because that's one of those things I probably needed to hear. Um, because I've, I've even had that question for myself about, okay, well, I'm good at so many things, but what am, you know, what's purpose? And I guess searching for that harmony you spoke of earlier. Um, and just knowing that if we follow those seeds, um, that were planted so long ago that we might be able to find that harmony that we so seek yes. um, today. So thank you very much for that. Thank you. Thank you for sharing. Power Lunch uh, Thursday really is, I set aside maybe an hour's worth of time so that we can go through the components. Spirituality deals with your belief system by activity, what you practice personally. It's what your calming agents are, what centers you, what focuses you. So that's your spirituality. Your health and fitness, it's the physical routine that you participate in and maintain for your physical body. What I'm, I'm saying, your carnal body, your physique, your structure, okay? Your workout routine, that's the work. Whether you're a runner, doing cardio, 
you know, dance, uh, tennis, racquetball, any sport things, physical workout. Wellness and beauty, your nutritional regimen, what you engage in, making sure that you're good from the inside out, what foods you're eating, how you're giving nutrition to this physical body so that you stay healthy for your personal well being. That's vitamin regimens, uh, knowing what foods are best for you. You might live according to your blood type. Some people are doing keto now, but it's what helps you keep the physical body intact. Your travel and leisure, we talked about briefly when I made the, the statement about Corinne, it's changing your environment, you know, taking a time to rest so that you can rejuvenate. Sometimes you might go on a hike. Sometimes it's getting out into nature, you know, going to the beach. You could do a staycation as long as you're removing yourself from your everyday mundane routine. Uh, arts, uh, it's arts, entrepreneurship, and entertainment. And this is where you're creative. It's your creative outlet of who you are. We are creative be beings. We were created to create. It is in our DNA and we, and we are not doing those things. We are stifling a portion of us, which leads to and can lead to self-destruction, depression, um, procrastination, these things that stifle us and keep us from reaching our goals, dreams, aspirations, and desires. Finance, of course, we know we need to have a good relationship, a harmonious relationship, a loving relationship to our money. Many people don't think of their finances or their money as they think of a relationship, but it really should be because when you're not in relationship to your money or don't realize the relationship you're having with your money, <clears throat> this is where we find our challenges because finances are emotional to us. They will keep us from being able to reach our goals, dreams, aspirations, and desires when we're not clear that they have a very pinnacle position in our life. So it's literally saying that you respect it when we respect our finances. When we have a relationship, a harmonious relationship with our finances, our love, a loving relationship, a gratitude relationship with our finances, believe it or not, we're back to that universal principle and it will keep that flowing and growing in our life. And then of course, the seventh component is mentorship. This is where we're giving back to the community and I say paying it forward, finding our place of service. So these are the things that balance our life. And many of us don't know or realize that all of us have all of these things or should, and sometimes they're just out of, they're out of order or we're overdoing one area and not balancing it with another. Like if you go back years ago, I remember all work and no play makes Johnny a dull boy. You know, you have to balance. You have to find that balance. If you're only eating complex carbohydrates, you probably are needing to, to do a lot more cardio in your workout. So again, balance in our food. And we can look at each component of each one of these components and find that space in our life and make sure that we're pulling them into a balance. So that's what uh, Discover and Live Your Dream Life is built on. What balance your life, live your dreams is structured in these seven components and the 30 day intensive with the marquee method to walk you through those things, to make sure that you're lining up each one of those components. And when we do that, we are set in a position to reach our goals, dreams, aspirations, and desires and have the success in our lives that we seek for. So just wanted to go back and recap that for you. You have to have the balance. Yes. You can't have more of one and less of the other. That's like oh. having all carbs and no protein. <laughs> there you go. It's not going to work out. No, it's health wise. It's not going to work out physically. <laughs> it's not going to work out. Yeah. We're going to find that place that we need to restructure and balance. And, and unfortunately 
in our society here in the American society, as soon as we started adding what we call fast food restaurants for nutritional value, we really did break the balance structure, you know? Um, and if we look at all of the different areas in our life, that's what, that, what, that is what tends to happen. Anybody that wants to chime in, please, floor's open. <laughs> Having that balance is completely essential because that is, that is simply how nature works. Everything is harmonizing with everything else. I, I think of it like an orchestra. You That's know, right. each, each person is playing a different instrument and each, each person playing that instrument is playing a different part than the person next to them. But when everybody is working together in unison and they're all going along following the same measures, then it turns into this beautiful harmony, a beautiful song. Yeah. And that's how life works in every possible way. And, and what you're putting together here is those are the different instruments in the orchestra of your own life. That's right. Yeah. I like the way you said that. The different instruments in the orchestra of our individual lives. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, we will be back next week. Please feel free to invite a friend, share this. I will put the playback so that you can actually come, come back to it. Discover and live your dream life. You click on the first page. It says right in the middle, there's a tab. It says balance your life, live your dreams. When you click on that, it is going to take you to the registration page. But all of those things around those little boxes, usually you can click on them. And so you'll see a place that will say playback with June 16th, and you'll be able to play this one back as well as last week with Wanda and our first week. I wanna thank you all so much for your time and joining me today for our Power Lunch Thursday. Today was the marquee, the marquee method to living a balanced life so that you will reach your dreams.